Right, so we're going to try and get more structure out of our documents today using AI and the power of Vertex. Um, this is not just scanning documents and generative AI spewing stuff out. It's actually going to take your information from dark data to real powerful data that you can use in business application. Right, so we're going to be doing a invoice as an example, but there's multiple other use cases um, all from pre train processes and um, it will allow you to bank statements, it can do uh, driver's license, passports, it can do um, a range of receipts and invoices. So again, taking dark data and trying to make sense of it and actually structuring it. So let's go. Right, so what we're going to do is explore Document AI today in the Google Cloud environment. So if you haven't already, log into Google Cloud. If you haven't seen how to do that, check out one of my videos. So uh, we want to find Document AI, so click on the hamburger icon over here and scroll down until you see document AI or you can type it in the top over here document AI and it should bring it up over here all right so here's the um, landing page for it and a little bit of a, um, a tutorial um, but what we're going to do is we'll, I'll walk you through how to get going with this um, so what we want to do over here is um, uh, create our own, use um, pre-existing processes. So what we're going to do is basically just analyze some um, run-of-the-mill documents uh, just to get going. All right, so let's explore the processes and it's going to ask us to enable the uh, API. Um, if you wanted to go in and check how much all of this costs, uh, so basically a number of process pages process so per 1000 pages that's going to be the amount um, and here's the amount per thousand as well all right um, so you can basically look at this information so if you've got a lot of information that you want to try and um, um, work with uh, just obviously factor that in all right and uh, documentation and um, ultimately you can find that out but let's just enable the API all right, so there's um, a number of uh, uh, pre-built things. So you can do from documents or you can do so from passes um, and then there's specialized um, items as well over here. Um, so if you had multiple invoices, so you can get I um, in information from your invoices or from your claim forms or from your driver's licenses or your passports. Um, so basically what it can do is scan images and extract the information into human readable um, format uh, or machine learnable for usable format to ultimately pass on to your next thing all right so here's the standard um, items over here so if you want human in the loop um, bank statement parser so extract from bank statements including the name transactions etc and um, it's going to be private uh, yep yeah. so pay slips so again, like I think the use cases in financial services, bank statements is obviously one of the uh, key things that people want to obviously try and understand. It just helps with uh, getting that information out. But what we'll do is a very um, simple, all right, so let's just do some um, expenses. Uh, so if you've got any invoices that you've got um, that you might want to um, see uh, for tax time, uh, let's just go in and click on create the processor extract text and values from receipts such as receipt date the supply and total amount tip amount currency right, so if you've got a lot of these um, for your accounting firm or for your um, um, company you can start using this to try and understand um, and build this in because somebody would have to key this stuff in right um, so you can now use this to simplify that process um, All right, so what we can do now is we can uh, configure the data set. Automatically create an empty Google Stars clause for you. You can just go continue. It's created your uh, data set. Um, it'll give you an I um, notification saying data set configured successfully. And what you can now do is click on the import documents. All right, so you can basically train your own custom version for your processor um, to try and extract the information and uh, do data labeling as you wish. All right, so what we're going to do is go and find some of our um, uh, receipts. 
and um, start loading them up and see what it comes up with. Right, so what we're gonna do now is just import our documents. Um, it's gonna ask us where do we wanna save it. Um, if we click on browse, um, you can uh, choose one of your existing folders or you can create a new one. So let's just create a new bucket over here. Um, and let's just call this receipts underscore test. All right, um, and we will wanna keep all of these um, options over here as default. All right, so we're selecting this folder over here. So there's no f um, objects found. All right, so what we can do is just go and add some um, files to that folder. Um, so the best way to do that would be, uh, let's just go to the hamburger, cloud storage, and let's open up that new bucket that we've just created, receipt test gem. And what we can do now is upload files. Let's go and upload those files we've just um, had. All right, so I'm just gonna go and grab those. So these are all the receipts that I've got. All right, so he has a number of files. I'm just gonna click on one uh, just so you can see it. All right, so here's a receipt. And what we can do now is go back to our document AI. And go back into my processes. Click on general receipts because that's the project we were working on. Um, we were in the train area. All right, so we still need to import our documents. So let's just click on import. Let's go to browse and um, choose the folder that we um, had. Right, we can do import with auto labeling. All right, so what auto labeling does is it'll try its best to try and uh, see who the supplier name is, the receiver, and any of the information it has. Um, it's pretty good at it, so just give it a go. So let's do that. Um, um, so this is November of 2022, and let's just click on import. Uh, data split is required. All right, so what um, so what this basically means is it needs a training set to try and evaluate the information. So 80% training, 20% test. Um, and this is basically how it works. Click on import. So what it will do now is take those information sets and start looking at them and start training the processor to understand what information is available. Right, so now what we wanna do is train our data sets. So select all and assign um, your documents to a test set. So let's just uncheck the last two and um, assign to set training. And then what we're gonna do is assign the last two documents to our test set. And what this is gonna enable is a, um, a trained model to be created. Okay, so let's go into our evaluate and test to test it out. Right, so once you've done the um, selection of your AD20 uh, training set, you're ready to run an evaluation on the Google Stable version. So let's run a new evaluation. Um, you can review, review the results in the Evaluate tab. All right, so let's click on Run Evaluation. And what it's gonna do now is it's going to start learning about these different data sets um, to try and understand what documents, um, labels, and information is available. Once it's trained up, it's gonna give you a um, evaluate and test. So you can upload a test document uh, to test how well this thing works. All right, so let's just load up one of these. Let's just do this one over here. All right, so it's gonna analyze the document um, it's going to basically pop in the information that it's found over here. So really clever. So the supplier name, okay. Kiwi Clothing Company, and it's now, let's just zoom in over here so you can see exactly what it's doing. Right, the address, the receipt date, line item, All right? So heat proof beach sandals, and it's got the amounts, and second line item, third line item, net amount, and then the currency. So it's made pretty short work of that and um, it's basically used the information and ultimately um, trained itself 
to get the right um, type of uh, stuff. So um, if you get invoices from multiple suppliers, multiple um, uh, entities, start training them up and um, it'll ultimately create that for you. All right, so what you can do from here now is ultimately um, go and download all the metrics as a JSON file and um, what you can start doing is ultimately um, start embedding this into your um, environment. Um, that's a different version of um, uh, so, so to get a um, so to get that um, ultimately um, release into your environment what you would need to do is uh, deploy it and as you can see over here um, things are already deployed and if you wanted to get a sample request to that pre-trained model that we've just created um, you just click on your sample requests and get one of your um, python developers or your uh, code developers to uh, pop in this information and pass it into your server and um, it'll shoot back a answer um, so again really simple really easy way to build AI off your documents uh, to get um, downstream processing enabled quicker. So if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and um, catch you in the next one.